Degeneracy in Transportation Problems Degeneracy happens when number of used squares is less than number of rows plus number of columns minus 1. To handle degeneracy, add an artificial zero to an unused square where degeneracy happens and treat the square as if it were a used square. Degeneracy can happen during Northwest Corner Method and during Modi Method. Let's look at the occurrence of degeneracy during Northwest Corner Method. Suppose that this table is the first transportation table. To find the initial solution by using Northwest Corner Method, begin at the first square. Look at the supply value in the corresponding row and the demand value in the corresponding column and choose the lowest value. Here, the supply value is 100 and the demand value is 100, so write 100 here. Thus, both supply and demand are satisfied. Now move to the next square. We cannot move to the right because the supply is finished and we cannot move down because the demand is satisfied. So move diagonally to this square. Look at the supply value in the corresponding row and the demand value in the corresponding column and choose the lowest value. Here, the supply value is 120 and the demand value is 100, so write 100 here. Thus, the supply is left with 20 units and the demand is satisfied. Now move to the next square. The demand is satisfied, thus we cannot move down, so move to the right. Look at the supply value in the corresponding row and the demand value in the corresponding column and choose the lowest value. Here, the supply value is 20 and the demand value is 100, so write 20 here. Thus, the supply is finished and the demand is left with 80 units. Finally, move to the last square. The supply value in the corresponding row is 80 and the demand value in the corresponding column is 80. So write 80 here. Thus, both supply and demand are satisfied. In this problem, there are three rows and three columns. Thus, there must be five used squares. But here, there are only four used squares. So degeneracy has happened. Degeneracy happened at the first square just now where both supply and demand satisfied simultaneously. Supposedly, we move either to the right or move down. But we had to move to the diagonal square. So we must add an artificial zero either here or here. Intuitively, just choose the square with the lowest cost. Let's look at the occurrence of degeneracy during Modi method. Suppose that we are in the middle of solving a transportation problem. We had calculated the improvement index and found that the problem hasn't yet reached the optimal solution because there exists negative improvement index. So now we need to draw a loop at the square with negative improvement index. Begin with a plus sign at the square, move to the left to this square and put a minus sign. Then move down to this square and put a plus sign. Then move to the right to this square and put a minus sign. And finally go back to the original square to obtain a loop. Next, we need to look at the loop, look at the squares with minus sign, look at the values assigned, and choose the lowest value. The value assigned to both of the squares with minus sign is 50. 
So add 50 to the value at the square with plus sign and subtract 50 from the value at the square with minus sign. At the new table, we will have 50 here and 80 here. Copy the values that are outside of the loop into the new table. In this problem, there are three rows and three columns. Thus, there must be five used squares. But here, there are only four used squares. So degeneracy has happened. Degeneracy happened at the two squares just now where two values vanish simultaneously. So we must add an artificial zero at either one of these two squares. Intuitively, just choose the square with the lowest cost.